grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Hello, I'm the Reverend Canon Lance Smith from Church of the Ascension in Windsor and the host of the Sunday devotional program Reflection on your TV, Windsor. I'd like to invite you to spend some time with me this coming Lord's Day on the fourth Sunday of Advent during this most special and sacred season to reflect upon the ways in which this Christmas tide will be different. And as we think about all the ways in which it will be different for many of us in this COVID-19 pandemic world, we'll give some thought to some of the ways in which we hope that we might be able to speak even through all of the chaos that our world seems to be embroiled in. We'll reflect upon one of the hallowed traditions in churches around the world at this time of year and how it is that as one went a little bit off of the rails and produced some unexpected results, that there was an example for us. And so I hope that you'll be able to join me as we think about how we might change our lines in helping to create and prepare a place for Jesus to be born anew in our lives. From there, we'll open up God's holy word and we will begin in the second book of Samuel. And we'll focus on the great King David and we will find David in a time of relative peace. And it is during that time he consults with the prophet Nathan and shares with him his plan for building a house for the presence of the Lord, a place where the ark of God could reside. We'll hear about what it is that God thinks of his plan and how it is that we can learn in our own calling about whose will it is that we are to follow. And in the midst of David's example, we will realize that there is one for us, where we put God's will ahead of our own and understand that we are called to respond to God and to not expect God to respond to our own will. From there, we will open our ears and hearts to the profound words of St. Paul in his epistle to the Romans. And we're going to look at the very end of that epistle, the final verses, a set of verses which are often referred to as a doxology. And so we will take a look at what doxology means. We'll consider how it is that in this particular passage, Paul is speaking to the faithful about how we are to live who we are called to be, and to whom all the glory is to be given. Lastly, we'll turn our attention to the gospel according to St. Luke. We'll read that familiar story of the Annunciation, that wonderful passage in which the Archangel Gabriel shares the good news to Mary of what it is that God had in plans for her. As we think about God's plan for Mary, we'll be invited to think about God's plan for us. And as Mary responded to the invitation that God had to participate in his plan of salvation, we'll give consideration to the invitation that God gives to us and how we can look to Mary as a profound example of how we too can answer the Lord. We'll lift up our hearts in prayer. We'll pray for the world in which we live. We will give thanks for the blessings which we have received. And in all things, we will try to open ourselves up to the very presence of God. I hope that you'll be able to join with me this coming Sunday as we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. Until then, may God give you a good week.